Hi guys, it's Scissors, and uh, please excuse my um, just got out of the pool look, because I just got out of the pool, and so I, I wanted to make a video, and I didn't want to go through all the hassle of, you know, like, taking a shower and putting on makeup and stuff. I'm sorry, but at least you guys are getting a video. <laughs> um, I wanted to do a book review today, because I just finished Witchcraft USA by Florence Hirschman. Um, this is a really old book. It's like 30 years old. Uh, my copy is falling apart. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about it. So obviously because it's really old, um, the, the la there's a little bit of a language barrier. It was written in the 70s, like early to mid 70s. Um, I didn't put like the printing date in here, which is kind of weird because um, most books that I look at do have the print date or year, but this one doesn't. But, um, yes, it was written in the 70s. So they used, they actually used words like groovy and far out. It was really weird. Um, after I got over that, it was a little bit better. They, they didn't do it too much. Mostly when they were talking about, um, hippie witches. I have no idea why I've never thought of the fact that there might have been hippie witches. I, I don't know. But it was actually not that bad. It was written, um, kind of like an episode of 2020. If any of you guys ever watched that. That that's kind of the feeling that I got from it. And they forgot the religion side, I think. For most of this, like, they mentioned the goddess, like, six times. And that was only in the later parts of the book, and it was just kind of in passing. There was no emphasis made on the gods or the goddesses or any, like, actual religious thing. It was about witchcraft. Um... And even though there's a lot of religion in what we do, they just pretty much solely focused on ritual work with spells. And that's it. Um, which kind of made me sad, because I, I don't know how in-depth they got in their research or whatnot, but that, that just, it seemed a little bit odd to me. Um, but, I don't know. It's not a bad book. It's just not the kind of book that you would want to read if you want to know what we really do, especially today. Because, um, I mean, obviously witchcraft has changed throughout the years, but still, it's an odd book. And especially, like, I was really skeptical when I bought this book about what they were going to say, because it did mention um, Satanism in the book description. I was kind of worried about what they would say about that. Um, and they were not very nice. Uh, or he, I guess, one person wrote the book, but it was not very nice at all. I believe that one of the quotes, this isn't exact, but um, they said something to the effect of anybody who gets involved in Satanism is a threat to themselves and those around them. And it's like, they, they cast such a bad light on Satanists, which kind of really bugged me. Um, yeah. They also said that anybody who is not in a coven um, when practicing witchcraft is endangering themselves. Which, no. No, they're not. Um, yeah. So it's an interesting book. It's not bad. It's kind of a good read. I read it in two days. It's 156 pages long. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not horrible. I, I don't know how accurate it is, but it's interesting. Um, they talk more about cults than anything else, I think. So, it's not horrible, but it's, I don't think, a reliable source. Yeah. But yes, just thought I'd share that with you because I thought this was an interesting book. And yeah, I will make some more videos later today. Maybe I'll, you know, look nicer in those videos, but still. Alright guys, that's it for me today. Mucha love and blessed be. Bye.